this is everything I have everything you need to upgrade CNC a good CNC upgrade the connectors these are proximity switches these are belt drives this one this one in the belt and the couplings in case I decide to direct connect the motors blocks it's my 3d printer this is the control box accessories I mean this, this is how I want to wire it up this is an old computer case old computer case this is the DDCS version 3.1 it's a 4 axis controller with a 24 volt power supply this one will be enough to power the controller and have these three drivers and the motors stepper motors three then this one is 48 volts 48 volts this one is supposed to power only number 34 with its controller here I mean drive then these are the motors initially went for the four axis so this is number 34 12 newton meters very heavy for the z axis and this is number 23 3 newton meters for the x y and the fourth axis after i buy it and this is my mpg controller it's already wired up that's nice it's supposed to come in here These are some fans I bought these 24 volts because my power supply is 24 volts so I bought these fans. I bought two but I don't know if I will be using one. This one it came with a case but it's 12 volts so I will remove this one and use 24 volts. So these are my tools of thread. I will need to make threads in the box. Make holes and threads in order others. These are thread tabs. Then I have my vanilla caliper there. Proximity switches then these ones very expensive I got them to do the wiring so basically at first I want to try to upgrade a machine I have a CNC machine to CNC then if not I'll build a whole from scratch a milling machine this is the Chinese it's a HQ800 it's a 3 in 1 it's a milling machine drilling machine and a lathe 3 in 1 this is the one I want to try to make CNC, to upgrade it to CNC. If not, then I will buy a speedo and some aluminium extrusions and build a CNC from scratch. So basically, this one is microfeeding. This one you feed up and down. This one, when you engage, you microfeed. So I'll connect the NEMA, NEMA 34 for the Z axis here for microfeeding. Then for the this axis, I will connect it here. I will remove this one. I will connect one. The, um, the motor will be here. The belt driven by the belt to this one. Then at the rear here, it's where I intend to connect the axis to drive this this axis. I will try maybe maybe direct connection or belt connection. I don't know. I'm not sure about how I go about that one, but I will see. So I prefer belt connection so that I'm in a position to manually operate. If I fix this one, at least I can manually operate this axis. Then this one, if the, my motors is over there, I can operate this thing manually. And the Z axis, I can do it manually at this also. So, we're about to start. We do the wiring and see how it goes. Stay tuned. <laughs> 